All right, PJ, you ready? Or yeah. All right. Better not if. That's all you can do it. Oh my God. What's wrong? What's going on guys? Lost with Custom Offsets. Today's video, we got another head to head for you guys. Now, I've never been in one. I've I, never been in one. You've never been in one. We've never been in a video together. That's wild. At least a sit down video. We do like the build series stuff, like vlog back Yeah, and usually forth. you're behind a camera. Yeah, but today we're both in front of it. If you guys need wheels, tires, special custom offsets.com, let's hop into it. Do I have to do the thing that I do with Dustin with you? Wheels, tire suspension, and accessories. We oh, have yeah. bumpers and steps and oh, yeah. lights. I've worked very hard to get Brad to add those things to the website. And a lot of Black Friday deals. I think we just gave them the whole website. Perfect, so they can go out and buy stuff now. All right, and then we're gonna talk about which one wins. So it's from the gallery against two trucks. Yeah, it's our new series. You could have just told me that. From the gallery against two trucks. All right. But no rating, you're just saying which one's better. And it looks like we got four on the list today. <sighs> better make this quick, I got a lot of work to do. All right, let's do it. All right, first up on the left, we got a 2020 Chevy Silverado 1500 running RBP 71 Rs in 2414, negative 76. Nitto Terra Grappler G2 305 40s on a rough country suspension lift of six inches. 33s on 24s. Trail Boss Factory 2 plus RCX four inch suspension. Oh, okay, so it's a four inch rough country on a Trail Boss. Makes sense. Yeah. Slight rub at full turn, no trimming. Some picks have factory blocks in the rear. Oh yeah, look at that, squatted. Brother, you just lost some points. Yeah. Oh, I mean, it's not a bad truck overall though. No, and I kind of dig like, I kind of like the all black front end. And then matched up on the right is gonna be a 2020 Ford F-150 XD Boneyard 20 by 12s and a negative 44 offset NATO Ridge Grappler 35, 12 and a half and BDS suspension left of six inches. Fox shocks, no rubbing, no trimming, no spacers. Do you really just expect me to pit a brand new Silverado on 14 wides against a F-150 with 12 wides, huh? I can't imagine which one I'm gonna choose. I mean, I know which one you're gonna choose. It gets a little spicy because the Chevy is squatting, but I still think I know what you're gonna choose. Yeah, I mean, the Chevy's got some squat, but he's also on 14 wides. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to go with you as well. I don't know if that tire setup and that tire specifically would be my choice. It's a little bit of a stretch setup. Yeah. But like you said, bit. no trimming. Yeah. So, I mean, there's that. And overall, it actually doesn't look doesn't that look bad. Bad. And he's saying some of the pictures don't have the factory block. So he brought it back up. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I mean, it's fine, I guess, if you're gonna do it for a couple of pictures to make the internet mad. And I also, I don't mind, like, RBP has some pretty wild looking wheels, especially in their 24s. And literally, I think the only thing I would fix is, well, one, the squat, which he already fixed himself, and two, the tire, but at the same time, no trimming on your brand new truck. Three, two, one. Flat, flat. All right. All right, next round, we got a 2020 Ford Ranger running a Pro Comp Series 4220 by nine and a half, negative six. Offset, Toyota Tire, Open Country MTs and a 33, 12 and a half and a wolf suspension leveling kit. Two and a half inch leveling kit. No rubbing or scrubbing. Minor metal, Mark. had to trim the bars, which is exactly the same as the F-150, so crash bars, trim the rear part of the front liner. Took out a useless plastic piece behind that liner. So the new, the new F-150 and the new Ranger are very similar in fitment. Yeah. Uh, as far as what you have to do to trim. So. Also interior, interior feet lights, train horn, Raptor grill with amber lights and RTR fender flares. Against, on the right, we got 2020 Jeep Gladiator Overland, uh, Cali Off-Road Summit 2414, negative 76, Amp Mud Terrain Attack MTAs and 37, 13 and a half and a rough country suspension lift of six inches. Also, no rubbing or scrubbing, no trimming, no spacers, no nothing. This is actually a tougher one. Like I like the new Rangers and I'm not a huge fan of the Gladiators, but this one actually looks kind of cool. Not gonna lie. Yeah, see, I don't like the Ranger really that much. This one doesn't look bad. I like that color. I mean, that's a that's a pretty good looking Ranger. Yeah. That's pretty standard, you know, Rangery 
set up. The wheels are a little bit bigger than you would typically see. I just see hate how small they feel. They do. They, but they're a mid-sized truck. They're yeah. supposed to be small. Yeah, I get it. I just don't like it. Or like the car looking headlights. I don't know, man. I don't know what it is. They're not terrible. Like I love old school Rangers. I think they're sweet. But That's like, just nostalgia though. Yeah, but like I really like, I like Gladiators done. I think they look really weird stock, but when yeah. they're done up, especially on some uh, 24s and 37s. I can't, does he have the frame painted? I see white under there. He's got something going on there. So like, even though it's a rough country kit, he's got like he, attention to detail on here. It's well, even, nice. yeah, cause even like his, and it looks like steering stick stabilizer and everything's painted yeah. his springs. spring is painted yep springs front and rear are all painted so and i mean cali off-road wheels are, i think are sweet so they are a really cool looking wheel and uh 37s as well and he literally doesn't have to trim anything it's what's well, crazy Jeep. yeah yeah all right ready yep all right three two one right <laughs> I dig the Gladiator, there's a lot done to it. His attention to detail, the white with the chrome, everything else. Yeah. I'm a little biased. If you were to match this up with like another Silverado or something, it would have been a lot tougher for me. Yeah, the Ranger just, the wheel choice, I think is what turned me off. Yeah, the Pro Comp wheels. Yeah. And I've never even heard of this leveling kit. It's more of an off-road, uh ranger specialty next up on our list on the left we got a 2020 chevy silverado 50 hey that's my truck that's your truck it didn't load in right away i didn't know what this was <laughs> true so this is baker's truck this is a 2020 chevy silverado 1500 archon off-road roosevelt and a 24 14 negative 81 gladiator x comp mt's and 37 13 and a half super lift non-released suspension lift of eight inches Technically, right. it's six inches of a leveling kit, but yeah. Yeah. That's down yeah. in the details. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's get in the details. All right. Eight inches of lift, super lift. Here are the details. Six inches super lift, black diamond kit with cane coilovers, added two inches of rough country leveling kit and a ready lift, add a leaf for eight inches overall lift, slight rub at full turn, minor plastic trimming, aftermarket front bumper, NorCal, no mud flaps, no spacers, ADD, Stealth Fighter, front bumper and the suspension glows in the dark and this sometimes so it's got to be really it's got to be dark yeah, yeah. it's got to be really dark but yeah it does and I, you don't see i haven't seen a color like this on a truck some people do high vis yellow here and there it's not like a, one of your common colors but i really really like the, this it actually popped on the gray a lot better than i thought it would same all right up against oh this could be better i don't know all right 2020 ram 2500 american force cortex cc 26 by 16 negative 101 fury off-road country hunter mts and a 35 15 and a half full throttle suspension lift of 12 inches one of one fts lift for my 2020 ram 2500 limited no rubbing or scrubbing minor plastic trimming no spacers truck is deleted and tuned I just want to, just, this man has a 2,500 Ram on 12 inches of lift, had to trim for 35. I have a Silverado 1500 <laughs> on 37s and mm. barely did any trimming on a six inch lift. The color he chose, like the silver, like I like it, but I, with the, there's so much chrome. I yeah. feel like I'd pull some of the chrome out of the front of the truck. You know what I mean? Like, like, it looks like, like the a big bumper and stuff. Chrome brick coming at you. I can't see the hood. Is it a diesel or is it a gasser? No, it's a diesel. It's tuned and deleted. Oh, okay. It just, the front end sits so much higher, I thought maybe. Like that's a sick shot of like the wheel and the suspension. It's yeah. so clean. Yep. Although he's on forces, although it's a diesel. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's a good one. It is a good one. All right, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. Your truck on the left, Rams on the left. All right, three, two, one, left. right. You're gonna pick this over your truck? He's got more done than I do, to be honest. I mean, maybe come spring when I actually get some stuff done on my truck instead of trying to drive it every day, it'll be a little bit more up, up to par. But like the man has chromed everything. Yeah, I don't know. I think for me, it's so hard. It's so hard to tell in photos just because like, you know, like your truck looks more filled out. It's like- The only thing I think of when I look at a three quarter of my truck is I really need to get my bumper painted. Yeah. To be honest. Yeah. And sure he has more, you know, suspension components and everything's polished, but like I'm a huge like color match person. Like I don't, like you said, between the grill, the headlights and the bumper, there's a lot of chrome. Like I get yeah. it because it matches your suspension and it matches your wheels, but then it only go like 35s and it's 12 inch lift like you had the right size for wheels but like to see like 37s or something on there or even 40s but, but 35s and he still had to trim yeah. so like Damn. that's probably all the bigger he could do without having to cut up the fender right there so i imagine that plastic is a valence it just looks so they look super small they look super small they're that's also what 16 it, wide that's why i don't that's why i 
I don't know what's throwing me off. That's the only thing that's throwing me off because yes, he does have a ton done. Like if he had bumpers, I don't know. I don't know. I just love your truck. And I'll I sell think, it to you. I you think, wanna buy it? No, I want a diesel next. Same. Well, then you're not helping me. I don't know. I think your truck just flows better. All right, here we go. Last round. We got another Gladiator, 2020 Jeep Gladiator Sport on some Method NVs and 17 by eight and a half, zero offset, Milestar Patagonia. Very right. popular off-road tire. MT's in a 37, 12 and a half. Rock crawler, suspension, suspension, lift three inches. Suspension details, rock crawler, Pro X, Falcon Series 3. No rubbing or scrubbing, no trimming, no spacers. Yeti XD steering components. So he has a cooler for steering. Interesting. I think, I think you already won. All right, what's he up against? And he's up against a 2020 Toyota Tacoma. Fuel, vapor, 17 by nine, negative 12s. Falcon Wild Peak AT3Ws in a 285.70 rough country suspension lift of three inches. No rubbing or scrubbing, no trimming, no spacers. Cali raised LED fog and ditch lights with brackets. It's funny because these two are actually like super, they got like the same colors. Like yeah, they skin. are very similar. So they're, so they're off-road trucks, right? Yeah. I like the setup that Tacoma's got other than the rough country, like kind of loses out to the Jeep that way. Yeah. And the fuel vapors are not quite off-road wheels. They're cool looking wheel and like you got 17, but the Jeep looks more off-road ready. Yeah. So, you know, running, when he's got methods, yeah, envies. Um, not a whole lot else done to the Gladiator, but like you don't really have to do a lot to them, to be honest. Yeah, I like the method wheels. I think they're like the best yeah. off-road wheel you can buy. Yeah, and he, I mean, the rock crawler stuff is, isn't really cheap, especially those Falcon shocks. And so that thing rides like it's on a cloud, whether you're on the highway or you're blasting through the desert. And he, so, lo he looks like he lives close to the dang desert. Yeah, based the, on the no photos. landscaping and yeah. the scrub brush there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you could definitely, he probably uses this thing on the weekends. Uh, okay. All right, three, two, one, left. left. Yeah, I think. Uh, it's just like you said, between the amount of money that was put in and like the theme between the two off-road themes going at each other, I think he yeah. just did it well. He spent the money on the suspension to perform off-road. Not to say the rough country won't take you off-road. It's it's not gonna ride the greatest yeah. when you're out there. This this really will. And then it, it kind of for me it came down to the wheels to be honest um yeah the fuels just aren't they don't tell me that that's an off-road truck where the methods really do so absolutely and who knows maybe it's the start for this tacoma build but uh nonetheless the gladiator takes the win so that's what we got for you guys on this episode of head to head i hope you guys enjoyed this if you did make sure to like the video if you guys need wheels tires suspension or accessories customoffsets.com banker thank you for stopping by and being in your first ever head to head with me also being in my first ever head to head That was a lot of head. I don't think we can say that.